men. Because I just don't want to say women. Like, okay. <laughs> still, man. Oh, see, look, oh, rip. Yeah, no. You see how she said it fast? I feel like she knew. Women, definitely. Wow, that's definitely. crazy. I and I think it's actually a statistic that women cheat more than men. It's like a, maybe like a good 30, 40%, if not more. 30, if okay. not more. When was the last time y'all cheated? Oh, I don't do that. Oh, I don't even get to the, like, honestly, <laughs> let's keep it real. Like, are we even a relationship to consider it cheating? Okay. Like, let's be real. Did what? we make it? People, people today, they don't call each other. You feel me? They All just right. be spinning in the shit mad fast. So let so. me rephrase my question. When was the last time somebody was upset at you for doing something you was not supposed to do in the relationship? Whatever relationship you had. Like two years ago. What did you do? Nothing really. I was just outside when somebody wanted me inside. So. Okay. <laughs> that's just not big. Like, that's you just, was in the backyard again? Yeah, yeah I was in that, that, that ass outside. Like, so that, that was that. Right, when was the last time somebody got upset for something that you wasn't supposed to be doing in the relationship? Honestly, like, were we in a relationship? But, it could be a, okay, you yeah. know what? The relationship, because even a friendship is a relationship. Yeah. So right. I think the last time someone was mad at me was like easily like three weeks ago. I just, I don't really do well if like, you're gonna text me like a lot of paragraphs. <laughs> so like, if you're gonna text me like a lot of paragraphs, I feel like that's a, a phone call at this point. <laughs> you know, like I feel like Yo, it's a, I'm, like, I just, yeah, I, because, just yeah. I just feel like yeah. it's a phone call at this point. Like, so, business hours, right? yeah, like, I mean, phone. like, it's yeah. a phone call. So let's talk about it. Let's be adults. Like, let's text messages. There's a lot to be just like misinterpreted and, I think that if you just call me about this, we can probably get to the bottom of it. People don't understand text tone, so I, I don't disagree at all. Like people don't understand text tone, and then like, if you're talking to me that I'm a texter, if you're talking to me, to me that much on text, just ring my line because we're not about to be. Uh, you prefer to hash it out. Still, okay. we're not about to be keyboard warrioring each other all day, like. But y'all have friends though that be getting busy, yeah, uh -huh. right? What would you no. like? What strategies do you think that they use to not get caught that you're like, you know what? That's that's a good that's a good strategy. What's the wildest thing you've ever seen? My friends are angels, so I know nothing about this. Um but honestly, what was that reaction? Yeah, but, like, every, like I just, is so perfect I over just, there. I just, yes, my I friends are respect. like literally like my friends are who are like who are in relationships. Yeah. Honestly, like they're really God's favorite. So like, like when, when they're at the club, right, and the fool who got on the nice wash, so they'll be like, ah, get away! Like, get away. oh yeah, like Would my they, friends are like mean. Do they accept the drink that they buy? No, my friends are like not nice. Okay. Like yeah, they're just like I mean you know my girlies like yeah. they they're not really that nice okay. like. What's the wildest thing that you've seen that your friend did to get out of getting caught from cheating? I'm, like a person told me like yeah like when I be outside like and my shorty she know if I'm drinking I'm probably on some bullshit like I'll make sure I go to the gas station get mad waters smoke cigarettes I'll smoke cigarettes and I'll be like bro you be doing all that for 30 so he minutes don't smell like so he so he wasn't he be getting right he, he come bullshit. in the crib take the shoes off you feel me boom go slide in the bath you feel me with the water bottle get, get crazy come out get some more water out the fridge he already done smoked three bogeys two three pieces of gum you feel me like and she just sleeping peacefully. Well, at at okay. that point, like it's four o'clock in the morning. If you can't, then yeah. Like. All right. So now that you understand what I'm asking, come on. You've never did nothing like that before. No, ma'am. I don't okay. need to. Not ma'am. First of all, if you came with a warning label, what would the label say? Proceed with caution. It means know what you're getting into. You I don't know like if you up. unless you're getting into it. You should come prepared with a brain first, right. first and foremost, because <laughs> that shit be losing me. Warning, I care too much. No, yeah, Money because songs. like I'm gonna hold you accountable, like, okay. like genuinely. So like, don't tell me you're gonna do something. Like, don't tell me you're gonna work on yourself. Don't tell me you're gonna do this thing for your business. Don't tell me you're gonna do, because I'm gonna so stand on that. Because so stand on that. Was like, warning, I get niggas in check. If that's what that, okay. that we could say <laughs> <Okay>. that. <laughs> so when's the last time you got somebody in check? So because I've been honestly like for the last two years, I've really been like working on like myself, my business, like what I really want, how I want to like transform what my business looks like and like how I want to do it. Mm -hmm. I guess like the last person that I had in check really was like 
like myself like I, I haven't really been on like with anybody so like you know so I feel like I hold my friends accountable but like outside of that like I haven't really been like on that level with anybody to even like care enough to put them in check so if you had to choose between snitching on your friend or cheating on the love of your life which one would you pick? I hate that because I grew okay. up in the streets all my life, so you know my answer. <laughs> no, I actually don't. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, che I'm cheating. I'm cheating. You're cheating. I'm cheating. Straight You're like cheating. that. Straight like that. I'm so cheating. for the person who doesn't cheat, I'm cheating. I'm telling you straight down. like that. I'm cheating. Like you feel me? Like, but like I never been in. I, I ain't gonna front. I have yet to be in a situation where like you know how like I be feeling like people be loving people like a certain percentage and not all the way. I ain't been in no situation where I love somebody all the way, so I can't speak for like if you all the way down, da da da, how you will feel. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. I like. Shit is, shit is just a little right, different. So like, from the women that you've met until now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Okay. Right. What are you doing, my love? So what it, What are we snitching on? What did they do? Let's say they cheated. Oh, you're not talking about no, um, you're talking about some oh, gossipy shit? No, 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 okay. Hold you. Wait, 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 wait. Time out, time out, time out. No, no, I know. He amongst was like, people? Like, you talking what? about the law or okay. amongst people? Let's, let's think about the worst thing possible that they could do. Let's say they're gonna go to jail. I'm about to say kill somebody. Okay, yeah. That's a word. I guess that's a word. They're gonna go to jail. Would you snitch on your friend or cheat on the love of your life? The love of my life knows how much I love my bitches. Like the love of my life knows she got the same answer as me. how much I love my bitches. But so I think, like, honestly, my friends are smart. Like. So therefore, they not e my friends are smart. So like, they not even gonna put me in a predicament because they know that if we made it to the love of my life, like honestly, yeah. they like, oh, I'm not even gonna hold you. If like, if we made it to like where like I'm the love of my life, they journey. not gonna do nothing. They ain't gonna a, do nothing to fuck that up. To like, to the love of your life? Cause honestly, I feel like <laughs> the man that's supposed to be for me is a very like patient, decisive, like ambitious. Forgiving is forgiving. forgiving. I, honestly, I feel forgiving like forgiving is dumb funny because why did you say that? <laughs> no, because why you like, say just forgiving? Cheat on him, oh no! Remember, I said <laughs> no. Remember, I said my friends are smart. I'm not gonna I'm cheat. Dang, that's what I was waiting for you to say. Oh no, my friends aren't gonna put me in a position to have to cheat. So therefore, because they know that if we made it to love of the life, they're not even gonna put me in that position. All right, so I need you guys to finish my sentence. Yes. Right? I will never date someone who don't have no morals. Okay. Has no ambition. Ambition. Okay. Yeah, that's ambition. like so important. Morals. Okay, so like, what would be a deal breaker to you? I don't like lazy ass people. Okay. Like, I dead ass don't like lazy ass people. And I don't like people that's like, like if a female is like clingy to the point where like she's lazy, where she wasn't lazy before because she like is spending her time different. I don't like that shit. Like, do what you've been doing. You feel me? We can link when we link. Like, go get your, go, yeah. go do what you do. Like, What was the question? Why ambition? Why did you choose ambition? Like, I chose ambition because I'm ambitious. So, like, because I'm ambitious and, like, I'm trying to build an empire. So, like, if you're not on that same wave, honestly, like, we're, like, two sides of, like, different coins right now because, like, he doesn't like lazy people and I don't like people that aren't ambitious. And, like... Cheers to that. Low-key, like, right, in the same intro. realm. Cheers. Like, Cheers. Look at that. Can you guys tell me about your best sexual experience? I have to, like, think about, like, my best sexual experience because whoever it is is probably going to see this. Okay. You know, is probably going to see this. Listen, we should make a little side bet on the side, right, to see oh. if they're going to text you. After they That's see it. That's actually tough. I fuck with that. Okay, yeah. so honestly, okay, so I think my best sexual experience was. Eee, oh my god! All right, where, where, where did it take place? Let's start. Here. Oh my god! Okay, it took place at their house. Okay. I built up the courage to deal with this person in that way. Okay. So 
it was a great experience because I was the person, like I was the aggressor. You know, like I was the person that like took charge in the situation. Mm -hmm. So it was very like, it was great because like I got to take control. And like, mind you, with a person who's not submissive at all. Like, so it was definitely a very interesting experience, especially like because the roles were reversed because he's very masculine and the take charge type of person. And so when I was put in that position and built up enough courage, it kind of was like, all right. It was good to flip the script because, yeah. What was your best sexual experience? I ain't gonna lie. It was weird because like, it was somebody that like, I, that's not weird. Somebody that like I dealt with like on some like two, three occasion shit. It it been good, but I felt like it wasn't invited. So I'm not taking that none of nothing invited. So like me, I'm out. Not even finished. Gone. You feel me? Like then like the next time it was like, okay, it's more inviting. So like let me see what this hitting for. That's it. That's all. That's I got no more. Like, that, 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 that's, that's it. That's all. I got no more to say. Like. All right. If you had an opportunity to double back on any of your sexual experiences or exes, would you? No. Like I've dated like great like great men like great men that like, all of them are like honestly like chef's kiss like i choose well so like i'm very proud of my choices but like they just weren't perfect for me so like you know like i feel like if i date people and they get married or they start families i chose well because like that's kind of what i'm looking for it just may not have worked out specifically with them because they just weren't made for who I am or what my journey is, you know? So like, I don't know if there's anybody that got away, but there are definitely like great people from my past. It's Clippy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Clippy, I'm not doubling back, it's dub. Whatever we went through, whether it was my fault, your fault, it's Clippy. If you had to get rid of one of the love languages, what love language would you get rid of? I'm giving up gift giving. Gift giving? Hell yeah. Cause I need all the rest of that. So let me ask you a question. Yes. What was the most amount of money you ever spent on a gift for your significant other? Like, you know, like when you buy like multiple things, Yeah. like, I don't know. Like, I think the most I've ever spent was like maybe like 800. Like, but I was also in like a six year relationship. Was so it like- for a birthday, Christmas? I don't even remember. You don't remember? I couldn't. You just said, you know it came out your account. You saw that deductible, and that's, that's all that matters. Yeah. Was he worth it? Yes. Okay. 100%. Why did she spend that on business? All yeah. Right. Which love language are you giving up? I don't want to <laughs> give none of them up. You got to pick one. So I'm definitely not giving physical touch up because I use my hands. So it's absolutely not going. Okay. You feel me? Fair Words business. of affirmation. I'm quiet, but I like to chat when in a racist situation, so I'm sir, not sir, giving sir. that up. We going through them. You said I'm not naming them, so I'm going through them. Okay. You feel me? Okay. So, all right. So, um, I don't want to give gift giving up neither. You I'm making my head hurry. Ask me the next question. All right. So, what's the most money you ever spent? Like on a gift. On one gift. Or multiple gifts. On a, a gift on occasion. Person. Yeah, on a, a gift. On one person. Valentine's Day was crazy a couple years ago. I did like a lot, but um, like a band, like a bag, and then like random shit for like 500 candles, this, that, and that. Uh, so 500K? Hell no. Oh, I had what that. Did you Girl, say? you see my motherfucking pocket? Anyway, <laughs> 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 no, I said like a band, like for me, 500, oh, okay. like on a little bag, and then like whatever the rest on like little amenities you, or whatever you, the you. case. Did she give you an equivalent gift? Hell no. What you get for Valentine's Day? I, I got some shit from my other bitches. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so that needs you to clean the eyes. Tell yeah. me the last time you got caught in a lie. And what was the lie about? I don't get caught in lies because so I don't what lie. What do you do to not get caught? I don't do it. I okay. tell the truth. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm one of those people that like lies about like somebody will be like, are you up? And I'm like, yeah. Little shit. Like, oh, but you're not, you dripped it off the sleep? I'm asleep. Girl, you about to have a whole dick in your mouth. You talking about something I'm up? I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Are you or, up? Like, yes. Or like, you know how like you'll be watching a movie with somebody and then they'll be like, are you sleeping? No, I was never asleep. Like, I was, I'm watching this. Like, yeah. I'd be lying about like shit that don't matter for real. Man. 